hope you guys are having a good day. I am having a little bit of mango here. Oh my gosh, it is so yummy. And I am so tired that uh, I can't even think straight. I've been running around all day and um, I've been trying to do videos for you guys. I think I did one and then I had to reformat my external hard drive, so yeah. I need a little pick-me-up. Mmm. Mmm. Papaya is so delicious right now to me. All fruit is really, really delicious to me right now. And the reason being is uh, I am quitting. Yes, quitting. You heard it. Um, keto for right now. Um, I've had some medical issues. Uh, my liver enzymes have gone through the roof. I mean, we're talking about three times the normal range. Uh, and um, yeah, about two of them, I think, are out of range. A third one is very high normal. Uh, so my doctor told me to immediately get off of Simvastatin, which is the cholesterol medication that I'm taking. Uh, I got off of that. Uh, I continued on my keto. And one other thing that I did that I, I'm not happy about, but I've been doing because of the holidays is, uh, having alcohol. And, uh, but anyway, um, so I retested uh, went back for blood sugar, uh, blood tests, not blood sugar tests, but blood tests. And, uh, it was even worse than before, even getting off of the simvastatin. It didn't really, um, help. It, it kept climbing. So my liver enzymes kept climbing. And I think it's the ALT one. I'm not too familiar with all the different ones, but I think it's called ALT. But, um, yeah, so I kind of sat myself down and had myself a discussion and I said, you know, um, I have been on keto for about a year and a year, maybe a, a little more than a year, maybe a year and a half. And, uh, and I've done lazy keto. I mean, I've done things where I've had, uh, carbs and I've had regular rice or I've had things, but, uh, lately I've been really trying to be strict about it and I've had the, um, high fat content and I've had a lot of protein. And the two things I realized was, um, another thing that was happening is my kidneys are, I think they're hurting. The, my lower back keeps hurting really, really badly. Um, and, and then my liver enzymes were going nuts too. And I did a lot of research. I went online and, um, I even looked at like, uh, what's his name? Dr. Berg, I think is his name. He's here on YouTube and he does videos about keto and health and everything. And the thing I came to realize is that I really am not a big, uh, vegetable person. So I really was doing, you know, um, uh, chicken wings and pork chops and bacon and eggs and avocado and very little salad, not a lot of fruit at all. Uh, I, I was down to having maybe some blueberries and a little strawberries every now and then. And it's, it's almost like I fell on the other side of keto. Um, I, I, I was trying to be so good that I eliminated so many of food groups that I really shouldn't have. Uh, I should have predominantly been doing, um, you know, vegetables and things like that, and then incorporating some protein into it instead of the other way around. I, I'm, I must have eaten 80 to 90% of my calories came from protein, so from meats, and very little came from you know, fruits and vegetables. And I realized that I, I, I started to realize how badly my body. Now, this is just me personally. I'm not a doctor or physician. You know, disclaimer, disclaimer. This is my my body reacting to what I was doing in it. And uh, I realized that, oh man, I, I've cut out so many things that um, I, I think I'm malnutritioned, you know, or something's going on. And on top of that, because of the holidays, truthfully, I was coming home, I was having a nice, uh, you know, drink every now and then, a martini, I was having a beer while I was cooking, I was having wine with my meal, 
and when you add it all up it doesn't sound a lot i'm just sipping here and sipping there and having a little this and a little that but when you sit down and you really face yourself and you say okay what how much were you drinking i mean it was it was a lot for a little person like me i'm not a big man i'm not you know 250 pounds i'm you know uh, i'm just medium built um and i really realized that uh, I overdid it. I really overdid it. So on top of the high protein and on top of the high fat, now we're introducing, you know, a lot of uh, alcohol uh, in the mix as well. And it just, it was like a perfect storm. And then keeping the uh, cholesterol meds also in me, it was just a perfect storm for disaster. And that's my honest truth. I'm, I'm telling you guys out there, um, it didn't look good on paper. When I went, I didn't feel that bad, but when I went and I got my uh, blood drawn, my doctor was shocked. I mean, just shocked. And to the point where they called me in a, for a week later, uh, took me off of the simvastatin and said, okay, we got to redo your blood test because something's going on here. You know, this is not a good sign. So, um, yeah, I'm back on uh, doing healthy foods. I'm going to go back on uh, doing a lot of salads. I bought uh, uh, green peppers and red bell peppers and the orange kind, the multicolored kind. I got kale. I got baby spinach now. I'm trying to eat fruit, you know, like I like I showed you guys. Um, I, I actually bought, I hadn't, I had not um had any grapefruit juice for years now because you can't have grapefruit juice with um with your simvastatin with any cholesterol medication oh my god i i i was in heaven after i drank my first um you know little glass of grape juice that i was now allowed to do because i'm off of the you know the cholesterol meds oh it tasted so delicious to me so certain foods are just especially fruits right now are tasting so delicious to me it's like my body is like craving it craving it craving it so that's what i wanted to tell you the two things that i've been using i wanted to show you the two things i've been using to really detox my liver and detox my kidneys because i think it's very very important to do that um again i read up on it and I said, you know, I've got to do something to really kickstart this process and uh, get myself into better shape. I do have a doctor's appointment coming up this week. Uh, I believe they're going to recheck my um, blood stats and talk to me, you know, seriously about uh, some changes in my lifestyle. I will tell them um, I, I have not had an alcoholic drink in like over a week now since I found out about my blood levels um you know i cut cold turkey i don't need it it's just a it's just something that i usually grab in the fridge it's no it's no different of a mindset that i'm grabbing a can of coke or, or a diet soda or anything else so there's no need for me to be you know grabbing um you know a budweiser so yeah it's it's not different than um I don't need it. I don't crave it. It was just a fun thing to do, hang out uh, with my husband while we're cooking, um, being, being, I, I always like a little wine with my dinners. It's not like mandatory, but if we're having a nice formal dinner, I do like to have some wine with it. I don't have to. So, you know, I kick that aside right now. Um, you know, I'm just trying. Oh, and the other thing that I've been doing is having a lot of water. You know that one of my New Year's resolutions was to have um, a lot more water and drink a lot more water. And, uh, you know, I'm doing the best I can. I'm bringing a huge bottle of water to work every day. I'm trying to take that down. I'm trying to eliminate my caffeine also. Uh, I'm usually had about two cups maybe three cups of caffeine uh you know or coffee a day uh, i'm trying to eliminate that have one cup in the morning with my breakfast and then try not to have another cup at work just try to only drink the uh, the water at work so i'm trying to make these type of 
changes uh, to my system. I don't have a um, what I would call a portion control issue, so the, I don't I don't really worry about how much I'm eating. Uh, right now, I haven't been worried about how much I'm eating. I'm worried about what I'm eating, and it's the what that has been getting me into trouble, not the how much, if that makes sense to you. Uh, so let me go ahead and show you the two things that I've taken, and let me put on my little glasses. I know I must look hideous. It's the end of the... It's the end of the day, guys, and it's nighttime here already, so I've just got my lights up here and turned them on. Okay, I took the Nature's Bounty Milk Thistle. I read that Milk Thistle, uh, taken uh, either as a tea or uh, in herb format, is really, really good for detoxing the liver. Uh, so that is my goal, to keep taking this till I get my... Uh, you know, latest blood results back uh, from the doctor. So that's the milk thistle. Wanted to show you that, you know, stuff. And then uh, this I picked up at like, you know, one of the food places. I think it was Publix. Uh, organic Everyday Detox Traditional medicin Medicinals. Traditional Medicinals there. Hopefully it'll come in. And this has, uh, let's see, 16 wrapped tea boxes, herbal supplement, USDA organic. This is dandelion predominantly. There's uh, some other proprietary blends here. It's dandelion root, uh, organic fennel fruit, peppermint leaf, and licorice root. All known for detoxifying, um, you know, your body. And non-GMO, um, it's only good stuff in here. And I've been having a couple of, um, a couple of, well, one cup a night. So I've, I started it like last week. I've had about two or three cups of this. It's a very nice tea. It's very mild. It tastes a lot like uh, maybe chamomile tea does. I do uh, taste a hint of that licorice root in there. I've always liked peppermint leaf, so I, I really like that blend, that taste. Uh, I slept very well with it. I didn't have any issues with it. And honestly, the first night that I took it, um, I felt, now maybe it's in my head, I don't know, I, you know, whatever, but I felt like my back didn't hurt as much. It wasn't as sensitive as it had been in the past with you know, my lower back ache and my kidneys and blah, blah, blah. I, I don't know about my liver. I don't have any pain in my liver. I don't have any gallbladder issues. I don't have any pain in my gallbladder. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Uh, but yeah, that's the only thing that I noticed since I've been taking uh, the milk thistle and then the dandelion that um, I've been, you know, it's been less aggravating as far as my, my back pain is concerned. Uh, my energy level is fine. I'm not having any issues with my energy level. I am sleeping very well, so I'm not having issues with that. And I've cut out, um, the, the heavier fats right now. I used to put whipping cream in my coffee. I'm now doing almond milk. Uh, I bought almond milk and I have been using almond milk in the past. I do enjoy almond milk, so I don't have a problem with it. I did buy some, uh, Kashi cereal and I'll put like a, a picture of the box up here if I find it online. Uh, I, I really like Kashi as far as uh, their cereal brands. They're wonderful. Uh, I'm really enjoying that with the almond milk. Um, what else am I doing? I'm just incorporating a lot more fruits. Uh, as you can see, I was eating the papaya. Um, I bought uh, cherries. I bought some grapes. Um, I still am continuing to um, eat avocados. I love avocados. I've always loved avocados. So I'm not going to stop eating that. I'm trying not to eat as many, uh, heavy meats right now. So I'm trying to be almost more on the, uh, vegetable side, vegetables and fruits, and not so much on the heavier meats just for the next, you know, couple of weeks. I'm trying to be okay with it. Of course, I'm, I had sushi today, so that's fish. I had some, uh, salmon, but it had, uh, avocado. It had uh, some Philly cream cheese. It was like a um, Philadelphia roll, I think is what they call it. But it had, you know, it had some rice around it, and that was fine. Uh, I drank water 
at at the uh, at the sushi place. That was it, and uh, had some miso soup, and that was it. So I'm I'm really really trying, guys. I just wanted to make this video. If anyone else is having any issues. Um, anything going on with their liver numbers or anything going on with their kidneys. Uh, this is what I found. Please talk to your doctor about keto and see if it's the right choice for you. Um, I was finding out that the way I was doing it uh, was, was not very good for my health. Um, if I go back to keto, I will very much incorporate a lot more fruits and vegetables. I don't think that I will do as strict a keto as before where I'm not even going to have, you know, grapes or I'm not going to have uh, a cherry or, um, you know, a pineapple or anything like that. I do want to maintain my health and especially bananas. Bananas is another thing. Oh my gosh. I really like bananas. I love bananas. I used to put bananas sliced up in my cereal. And um, one of the things you can't have because of the higher carbohydrates is bananas. Uh, and, then, and then you're depleting your potassium, so you're not getting enough potassium. And uh, one of the other things, issues I was having is uh, leg cramps. Now, they have subsided because I have been taking uh, potassium supplements. So I've been taking potassium supplements for the past like year, year and a half since I started keto, maybe a little after I started keto, uh, to, to make sure that uh, I'm not having these cramps in my legs. But, you know, if you think about it, it's like I'm taking this pill, which is, I know it's made out of natural ingredients, but to me it's still an artificial thing. You're taking this pill because you can't have real food. You're, you're not having a banana. You're not having the fruits that have potassium in it. And, uh, you know, maybe I'm ignorant in the way I've done keto. I don't know, guys. I'm, you know, you can blame me for the way that I handled it, maybe. I'm taking a lot of responsibility for this and for the way um, that, you know, my, my body has reacted to it. Um, and then the alcohol was not, you know, anything great to throw in there, like I said. But, you know, I'm making the changes now. I'm going to try to do the best that I can. And I'll get back to you guys uh, in, you know, like in a month or two and let you know how my numbers have been, if they went back down, um, what the situation is. Because I know that you guys want to know and you guys are... Um, you know, I, I treat you guys as my friends, so I know that you have concerns, hopefully, about me by now and want to know, you know, in the next month or so, hey, Maria, how's your numbers going? Is your liver numbers back to normal? Are they doing, you know, are you going on some special medication? What did the doctor say? Things like that. I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I assure you I will come back here and I will give you a, you know, a rundown of what I've been doing, okay? So that's all. So I wanted to tell you guys, thank you so much again for stopping by and for uh, spending this time with me. I really, really enjoy it. And if you like it, please give this video a thumbs up, get those thumbs going, and also hit that little notification bell on the bottom. And, uh, you know, once you hit that notification bell and subscribe to me, of course, you will be notified of my new videos that come up. And I'm trying to put up uh, videos every like four to five days, as you guys know. Uh, on health and beauty and uh, growing older gracefully and wiser and um, just being the best uh, you know person that we can be as we are aging okay and of course a lot of skincare to help so right I love you guys a lot I will see you in my next video Mwah. bye